Hello, my name is Johnson, and today on it's streaming to, uh, oh, excuse me, I gotta go to the bathroom. I went, I, I went to pee, the Phantom Normary Sheds, and, in this restaurant shed. This is what happens when Southern Barbecue comes to downtown Boston. Brand new to Bromfield Street, surrounded by office buildings and high-rises, Sheds is a down-home, honky-tonk, real-deal, Texas-style barbecue joint from brother and sister Sean and Edward Wilson. In fact, that's where the name Sheds comes from. S-H for Sean, E-D for Edward. And their story starts about 2,000 miles away. We grew up in San Antonio, Texas, and barbecue was everywhere. It was one of our staples, eating out every day, and we figured we would bring some Texas-style barbecue to the greater Boston area. Growing up in Texas, Edward and I ate barbecue a lot. So it was always our dream to have a barbecue place in Boston. And as we were looking at different spaces, we found this and it was just really fun for us to bring some of our family recipes and the food that we grew up with to Boston. And they decided to serve up those slow-cooked family recipes in a quick service environment with a little sibling rivalry along the way. Edward's a great compliment to me because he's really easy going and laid back. Hi guys, welcome to Sheds. He's usually the good guy, I'm usually the bad gal, so together we balance each other well. She's a tough big sister. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I died in the charge. is oh so tender, using mesquite wood and dual smokers that hold up to 400 pounds of meat each. So all y'all need to do is walk in the door, order up, and chow down. When our customers oh, come in, me, they charged. go straight to the chop block. At the chop block, they can see our sliced brisket, they can see our smoked turkey, the pulled chicken, pulled pork, the ribs, and then from there, they can decide which vehicle they want. Do they want to get a bowl? Do they want to get a plate? Or do they want to get a sandwich. We'll set you down the line. All of our sandwiches come with one side, so you're more than welcome to pick whichever side you like. And then our plates come with two sides. So as they get their protein, they'll just come around the line, and then that's where they can make their selection for a hot side or a cold side. So you can get a pulled chicken sandwich with a side of fried okra, a plate of smoked turkey with fresh-made coleslaw, some tender pulled pork, or outstanding ribs with potato salad and collard greens. And then there's the ultimate in Texas-style barbecue, thick-cut, slow cooked beef brisket. Well, brisket is a staple in Texas, and it's my favorite product we have here. Our brisket is an all-natural product. We cook it slow and low. We cook it overnight for seven and a half hours, and we pull it in the morning, and then when we open 11 a.m., it's very juicy and moist, and it's just great to eat. But the brisket might be even greater stacked inside the signature Slow Ride Sandwich, where it's topped with spicy sliced Texas hot links, coleslaw, and pimento cheese. And speaking of cheese, what would a barbecue be without some creamy, gooey mac and cheese? Mac and cheese and barbecue go hand in hand. Our queso mac and cheese is really popular. It's really creamy. It's very rich. It really is delicious. And we finish it off with a nice panko breadcrumb topping. But it's a really, really nice dish. And there's one more cheesy dish you don't want to miss. What is it? The Frito Pie featuring everybody's favorite corn chips. Frito, Frito Pie! pie. Of all time. Growing up in Texas, if you went to a Little League game or a college game, you would literally get at the snack bar a bag of Fritos. They'd cut the top off, put some chili in there and then you put cheddar cheese and jalapenos so you can start off with a bowl some nice fritos put our brisket chili that we make here and some cheddar cheese and jalapenos and it's delicious desserts are inspired by the south here as well like a mason jar full of blueberry cobbler lulu's buttery homemade rum cake and even s'mores golden graham treats with marshmallow and chocolate chips and it all adds up to a texas-sized experience at shed's barbecue 
market. We have country music playing. We have farm to market signs. We have some flags. So we just want a friendly environment that feels down home. It has a warm feel to it. I think it does kind of remind them of a shed. We tried to do the raptors and things just to make it feel homey. We wanted it to feel rustic. Once they sit down and have lunch, it's kind of loud in here. It's kind of fun. So they enjoy the overall dining experience. Putting meats on the smoker, pulling meats from the smoker, serving them to the customers here makes me feel like I'm back home. My favorite part of Sheds is, number one, working with my brother. And the second thing is just being able to share food from our childhood and recipes from our families with other people. Now, okay, that was good. Bye.